Selling Sunset. Stars Emma Ernan and Micah are, still enjoying each other's company. Emma Ernan's love life is arguably becoming a hotter topic of conversation than Chriselle Staus Staus and Jason Oppenheim's brief romance following the season 5 premiere of, Selling Sunset. By now, you've probably heard about Ernan's flirty encounter with Ben Affleck on Raya, which he has since denied. Either way, Ernan should probably be grateful that she and Affleck never met IRL, or else she may have never gone out with Micah, the property developer who catches her eye in season 5. Mika's last name is never revealed on the show, nor on his Instagram. Fans have been shipping this real estate dream couple ever since. In the third episode, Ernan meets Micah while previewing a Beverly Hills property that's still in development. Micah, who is overseeing the multi-million dollar project, takes her on a tour of the estate. It's clear right away that the two are drawn to one another, both physically and intellectually. However, due to the nature of their relationship, Ernan admits that she's hesitant. I never flirt with clients. I am always strictly business, but it's hard not to flirt with Micah, she says. After bonding over their similar upbringing and passion for entrepreneurship and real estate, Micah asks Ernan out on a date. Episode 5 picks up with Micah giving Ernan a private tour of his new mezcal bar and kitchen. Their date night concludes with a mezcal tasting. In a sexy twist, Every mezcal has the word, kiss, in its name. Ernan quickly begins to reconsider her position on keeping the relationship strictly professional. I usually don't mix business with pleasure, but Meek is a little bit different. We had like one or two meetings, and I was like, oh, my god. Not only is he attractive and successful and confident, but we actually have a lot in common, she says. I mean, basically he's just, like, check, check checking every damn box. The season 5 finale is the last glimpse we get into the couple's flourishing romance. Micah invites Ernan back to the Beverly Hills property for a final meeting now that it's finished, where they enjoy the estate's breathtaking views and luxurious hot tub. Ernan reveals that Mika's primary residence is in Texas, but they spend time together whenever he's back in Los Angeles. They've even started a bucket list of things they'd like to do and places they'd like to visit together. So what's the status of Ernan and Mika's relationship today? According to Ernan, Mika is still very much in the picture. Me and Mika definitely have something special, she told E.T. We're definitely still enjoying each other's company. As someone who's been in a long-distance relationship before, Ernan said she'd ideally like to date someone who primarily lives in California. Fortunately, Mika does a lot of development work in Southern California. Plus, his Mezcal Bar Sagrado is now open for business. Despite the distance, Ernan said that she and Mika's relationship has only grown stronger, though they aren't putting any labels on it just yet. The Oppenheim Group agent even hinted at seeing their romance play out in season 6. We've become closer. Dot dot. So, we'll see. Maybe season 6, there will be a label, a ring. Who knows? Fans will have to tune into the Selling Sunset Season 5 reunion, which hits Netflix on Friday, May 6, to get the inside scoop on everything that's gone down since filming wrapped.